Good luck, everyone. I hope you had something nice in our box break. And uh, let's see what happens in this stamp rip. And hopefully we can pull just a monster hit out of here. I'd love to see it happen. We'll start off the red right now. Or in just a second and see who gets which years. Because that's what this break is all about is getting the different years. Billy, what's up? What's going on, man? Uh, we we switch, we rotate. So some nights it's AG, some nights it's me. That's what's up. No, um, not really. Uh, my brother started this thing, so he's the founder. And uh, we all do our part to make this thing go. So it is a team thing. And But my brother Joey, he is the owner. He is the founder. Here we go, seven times through. Here's the lucky number seven. So we're gonna randomize each list seven times and then stack the list up side by side. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I guess Joey P. <laughs> yeah, I got to use the initials. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Here we go seven times. It's funny. That's <laughs> pretty funny. Lucky number seven. Let's see who gets which years as we stack the list up side by side. Ho! We'll see who gets what years in this graded stamp box break. Good luck, everybody. It is a graded stamp coming out of here, and I hope we can pull a big hit. I like Beckett a lot. Dennis, I think Beckett would be a good one for you to check out. Blowout. Yeah, that's the other big one, too. Definitely a good suggestion there for, from David. Blowout is probably better than Beckett, now that I think about it. Yeah. Both great sites. So. All right, so anyway, everybody's got their year. Let's find out what we're hitting. Thanks for getting in the break with us and good luck.
Hit Parade, Graded Stamp. What's it going to be? Who's it going to be? It is a 1938. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Graded stamp and 1938 comes out. Oh, my. David, congratulations in the box break. With the year 1938, you're going to hit. You are hitting in this thing, my man. That's an old stamp right there. So I think this is one of the ones that is listed as being like a product type hit. One of the higher end hits. I'm not sure. Let's check it out. Is it listed as a higher end one? Oh, it is not. I was thinking of the 1934 one. Okay, so I always like to look at this and check and see if we did register one of the product hits. But my goodness, man, what a very cool hit to have come out in the box break. A 1938. As I can see it on this list over here. Because they actually have a lot of the hits showing. It's that one right there. It's that one. Um, I don't know quite what you mean. But I'm sure this thing has some good value to it. What a cool hit. Congratulations. <laughs> I bet you you could. It's legal. I mean, you could crack this open and use it. It'd have to be legal. It's a U.S. It's a legit stamp. It's a real stamp. They don't expire. Did you ever see that Richard Pryor movie where he was he had to spend so much money in a short amount of time? That's one of the ways he did it. Was he he's bought a million dollar stamp and then used it? <laughs> 